Right, okay, so we got two steps. Well, three steps, probably. So three steps. So number one, unnormalize your numbers. I never know whether that's half hyphenated. Right. Unnormalize your numbers. Step two. Right. Step two depends on what the numbers are. If we have got um, two positive numbers, so we want to do A minus B, remember, we're going to rewrite, just like we do with integer subtraction, rewrite as A plus minus B. So we're going to do two's complement on B in this case. Okay. Step three, there's four steps. It's Spanish Inquisition sketch all over again. Um, there are four steps of like both subtraction. Right, so then we just perform the um, addition. Okay, because we're not going to do subtraction. Unless you're insane and you want to do binary subtraction raw in the exam, I would always tell you to do this. Reformat the algebra and do addition. Okay, right, perform the addition and then the fourth step is to renormalize the result. But essentially, so it's just integer subtraction that you're doing. You start with floating point numbers, but because we go through the uh, unnormalization process to get the raw fixed point numbers. Let's put that. Then we just add them up. We just make sure they're lined up, the binary points are in the same place, um, and we just line them up. Right, so let's have a, let, let me write out a couple of numbers and just go through this process then. So let's try, I don't know, making this up. So I'm going to subtract <clears throat> um, I'll, sh shall I start from decimal and convert into floating point so we got a little bit of practice on that as well so I'll do, let's do and what's nice about these questions is you always know what the answer is <laughs> so if you get completely stuck you can get yourself at least one mark but you know what you're aiming towards I always liked math problems where they said prove this is this um, and, and that was the whole question for 20 marks or whatever because you knew what you were aiming towards. I always like those difficult questions like that. Right, so I'm going to do 2.25 minus 3. Okay, so we know the answer should be minus 0 0.75. Okay, that's going to be the answer. Um, we need a format. Uh, I don't want to make it too big, so I'm going to go... Um, what shall I have? Four mantissa and three exponent. I'm just keeping it short. I don't want to write loads and loads of binary numbers down. Three for the exponent. That's going to be the format. So let's write these two numbers down in this format. So use fixed point to start with. So we need to make sure we put, we've got a positive number. 2.25 and, and a positive number 3. So we need to make sure we put enough column ends in so we can put our sign bit in without affecting the number. So I've put three column headings in. I always start by putting my sign bit in. Right, so I've got two and then I want a quarter. So I remember when I go this way, I just keep dividing. I'm not going to go mad and put loads and loads of binary points. I don't need them. Um, so to get a quarter, that's going to be no halves, one quarter. So that's me 2.25. Always write at the side to give the examiner a chance to know what the hell that number is you've written down. So just make that clear to them. Right, so let's have a go at the three. Um, so three would be, let's just put that in brackets there. Three would be a sign bit of naught because it's positive, And then a two and a one. And then no fractional part. Okay. So they're <coughs> currently unnormalized. So actually, if I lift it like that, 
I don't have to do the unnormalized part because I've actually got two unnormalized numbers. Right, so I've currently got 2.25 and I can do minus 3. But I'm going to rework this. I want this to be 2.25 plus minus 3. So in order to do the minus 3, I need to 2's complement this. So I now need to do 2's complement. 2's complement to get minus 3. Same old, same old. Flip all the bits. When we get to the last one, leave it as a 1 and write the remainder down, all the zeros down. So I'm going to start. I'm going to flip. going to flip. That's my last one. So I'm going to leave it as a 1. And then everything else stays the same. So that is now minus 3. So I can do my addition now. I can do this operation. So I'm just going to write these out next to each other. The binary point is crucial. So when you write the second number down, always start from the binary point and go like, right, we've got a 0 and a 0. And then we got 1, 0, oh, 1. Always do it that way, otherwise you'll get a misalignment. And we're going to add these together, because that's this bit. Right, okay, so <clears throat> just binary addition. This stuff you've been doing since, well, I think we actually get the year 7s to do it. Because it's quite nice and it's quite, oh, look, I can do this. Um, right, so we get 1 and 0 is 1. If I screw up, please tell me. Uh, 0 and 0 is obviously 0, put my binary point in, 0 and 1 is 1, 1 and 1 is 1, uh, 1 and 0 is 1, 0 and 1 is 1. Okay, now we said that we were going to get a negative answer, negative 0 0.75. If we look, the sign bit is correct for us. So the sign bit is negative. So we've at least got a negative number. I don't know what it is because I can't read two's complement. Okay. And I'm not going to be clever enough to read it. So what we can do is two's complement it to find out what that number is. So that's going to give us the positive version or the, the magnitude of this number. So we know it was negative to start with. So always when you're doing this, say to yourself, right, the answer is going to be minus. So I've written a minus down. So I need to do my two's complement. So I'm just going to flip and add up to the last one. So <clears throat> I am going to go... Um, <clears throat> Oh, I've done this in a studio. Let me just rub that out. I've done. I've, that's where I want to do my flip. I'm going to do my two's complement just here. Right. So I'm going to do my two's complement here. So flip, flip. If this isn't a positive number, there's something that's gone horrendously wrong with the two's complementing because it was negative before. Flip, flip. I'll oh, put the binary point in. Um, that's the last one, so we're going to keep that as a 1. So this is, um, remember that was a half, that was a quarter. So that is, this is plus 0.75. So my answer, which was negative, is minus 0.75. Now they might ask you to normalise that number, so let's just do that final phase. So we start with this, and we want to normalize it. So normalize. It's a negative number. So we're looking for one copy of the sign bit. Now you can see we've got multiple sign bits. The sign bit is one. Okay. So we're looking for when the last sign bit, so where it goes one, zero. So all this is just path. All right. Now, the interesting thing here is, if you look where the binary point is, it's already in the right place. It's between the one, the leading one, and a zero. So our normalization doesn't require any movement. So we didn't move.
move the binary point which means the exponent is zero and you might I've never seen a question where that happened it's a bit it's just interesting that it's happened on this one all right so I'm gonna write my exponent down uh, I had three bits for that didn't I so that that's my exponent always try and label these things because you know you if you look at what I've got just zooming out a little bit oh Bluetooth's great in it wake up mouse come on no oh it's finally woken up if I zoom out on this you can see I've got a hell of a lot of binary numbers all over the shop so your annotations of these are really important otherwise you're making the job for the examiner in finding out where your answer is so I'm writing down exponent next to the three um, zeros now I've got four bits of my mantissa so I've got one dot zero one and then I've got a spare bit but I always pad the right hand side with a zero so that's my mantissa okay and that's floating point subtraction it's no different same if you have to do floating point addition it's the same process as integers 